In a recent video, I demonstrated this vintage Casio Tone keyboard, and I mentioned that it had connectors for drum pads, but that I didn't have any drum pads to connect to them. Well, I still don't have any drum pads, but I have possibly the next best thing. Inside this repurposed old food container is an Arduino microcontroller, and some circuitry to hook that up to the drum pad inputs. It's possibly not the neatest circuit board ever, but the principle is fairly simple. Eight of the Arduino's digital outputs are connected via resistors to the input sides of opto-isolators, and the output sides are connected via these cables to the keyboard. Each opto-isolator effectively acts as an electronically controlled switch, and also means that the Arduino and the keyboard aren't electrically connected together. The USB cable connects to a computer to provide power and MIDI signals. The code on the Arduino is pretty simple, it just listens for MIDI messages on channel 10, which is reserved for percussion, and when it sees one of the 8 drum sounds that are available on the keyboard, it turns on the relevant opto-isolator, which is then turned off either by a MIDI note off message, or after a delay of 50 milliseconds. That's plenty long enough to trigger the drum sounds from the keyboard, but short enough that even the fastest music won't cause it any problems. As for a computer to hook it up to, I'm using my old EPC900, partly because I felt it was appropriate to pair an obsolete keyboard with an obsolete computer, but also because it's small enough to perch on the side of the keyboard without getting in the way too much. I wrote a little Go program called DrumScript, which reads drum patterns from a text file and plays them back over MIDI. One small problem that I found with this is that the resolution of the timers in Go isn't quite enough to play a drum pattern with a perfectly consistent tempo, but it's pretty close, and in the end I decided this was more of a feature than a bug, as it makes the pattern sound a bit less mechanical. It's still about as accurate as all but the very best human drummers anyway. Here are the eight drum sounds available on this keyboard. Bass drum, snare drum, rim shot, hand clap, high bongo, low bongo, hi hat, and cymbal. And that's all you get. No tom toms, no other types of cymbals, and no velocity sensitivity or any other type of expression. So I suppose I ought to play a piece of music using these drum sounds. I've decided to play the Lewis Bridal song, also known as Mari's Wedding. The Mari mentioned in the song was a real person, Mary McNiven, but the tune wasn't originally written for her wedding. It was actually written to commemorate her winning a prestigious national singing competition, with lyrics in Scottish Gaelic. The English lyrics were published two years later by a different author, and it wasn't until several years afterwards that Mary actually got married. My arrangement uses the drum and melody sounds from the keyboard, and I've added some chords on tenor guitar as an accompaniment.